Lee, let me ask, how do, uh, how do ethical principles fit within the dimensions of, of, of power and authority that leaders have? Well, sometimes they don't fit as well as I wish they did. <laughs> you know, I think the more power you get and the more authority you have, it's easy to start thinking that I need to get results, the results that we want. And when you start focusing on results and the, the end results and making that turn out the way you want it to, uh, it's easier to compromise on character and integrity issues because it's like the end justifies the means. Mm. We need this, therefore we can do this and this that are a little shaky, but it'll be okay because we'll have a good outcome over here. The one, at least it's the outcome that we want. You see that a lot in politics now. Uh, we learned that under the communists, they told us that truth is that which most benefits the party. So their philosophy was the end justifies the means. We can torture you to sign a statement that says you've received lenient and humane treatment because we believe that we have done that. We didn't kill you. So you've had lenient and humane treatment. Therefore, we can torture you to sign a statement. So that kind of logic is scary. And, but it's easy for human beings to slip into it and to start to justify their actions because they believe in the outcome rather than the process being uh, protected by good character, right and wrong, and that sort of thing. So to me, that's a big issue. And for you young people, I really, I really hope you'll think about this and don't, don't let our culture slip into the end justifies the means.